someone a new voice. Who is this? Oh, news desk. Yes, I do have a news item for you, but I usually speak with the editor. Well, I suppose I can talk to you and then you can get on finding a suitable headline. May I suggest Mrs. Hyacinth Bouquet, well-known local hostess. No, 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 wait, wait. Make that much admired local hostess is not only appearing in the current production at the community theater, but is also exhibiting her painting on silk. I beg your pardon. Well, I know that I'm sorry that it's not a road accident or a factory blast, but I can assure you that this will be news in better social circles. Oh, Onzo, get something on. I'm getting a little glow on. <laughs> oh, well, put me through to the features editor then. All I want to do is arrange for a photographer. There's one coming. <sighs> Have you seen Onslow? Oh, one sees too much of Onslow, dear. A, a photographer coming from, from, from the paper? Today, Emmett arranged it. Oh. Well, you needn't exert yourself. It's all been arranged. However, I must tell you that your present level of cooperation is not likely to see you get an invite to one of my candlelight suppers. Onslow, still half naked. I know, it gets me too. I really wish you'd do something with him, Daisy. For anyone he is. Oh, don't be sick, Daisy. I can't help it. He's such a hunk. Don't you wish you felt like that about Richard? Uh, Richard and I are highly compatible. We're on the same wavelength. Yeah, yours. Do we have all the costumes now? Uh, yes, just about. Some might need a nip and a tuck. Is there any, anyone we know who can sew? Yes, yes, it's usually me. I don't know what I'd do without you. I know. Oh, this is a hard one, Liz. I lay awake at nights wondering is there life after hyacinth? Oh, you should take your pills. She amounts almost to a medical condition. I'm constantly plotting, not for the play, but how best to murder hyacinth. Yes, well, this play has enough murders to be going on with. How I'd love to sneak another one in. Oh, oh don't be wicked with her. You know she adores you. Only because she thinks I'm an admirer. Can you believe her self-esteem is so impenetrable? You get a sense of power standing here. Yeah, you don't need power, you got me. I never see you using much. Oh, it's all in reserve itself, it's needed. I'm like your nuclear deterrent. Oh, we've had a few fallouts, I know that. I'm not complaining. I enjoy it when we make up. Forget it, I've got a headache. You haven't got a headache. I'll go and get one. I love us acting together. I wish we had some big romantic scene. I thought we had one last Tuesday. It was the Tuesday before. Oh, oh, you're keeping count now, are you? It's on my calendar. <laughs> you make me feel like I'm just a plaything. I wish you'd stop missing so many games. Am I less desirable than I used to be? No, Dice, no, I can honestly say that. You're never all that desirable. Don't lie. You used to think I was mega delicious. <laughs> you know that for a fact? You told me. Oh, look, Daze, that's just the ploy that young men use when they're looking to go the extra mile. <laughs> look what I found. Ooh. He wasn't lost. Oh, yes, he was a lonely spirit wandering in the wilderness. I'm going to bring him in from the cold, and in return, he's going to make me computer literate. <laughs> computer literate? <laughs> You failed at Lego. Bob Alfonso. <laughs> Not so great at English either. Oh. I was otherwise emotionally engaged. This time, I'm going to concentrate. Don't smother him. Let him breathe. Mm. Oh, it's all right. I can breathe later. <laughs> Sounds like we're all here. Now, I'd like to try a little walkthrough. You're looking very impressive, Hyacinth. Why, thank you, Elizabeth. I mean, one must be on the mark. Mrs. Debden could just pop in at any time. Good evening, Mr. Bilson. I'm assuming that is Mr. 
Mr. Milson almost been totally obscured by Groves. He's been deprived too long of simple human warmth. He must feel like he's been plonked in the microwave. Do try to disengage yourself at the first opportunity, Mr. Milson. And how is my favourite director? Waiting to begin. Mm. Oh, I know what you mean. <coughs> they can't drag me away from my painting. Of course, except for my, my duties as this uh, Postal Code's most exclusive hostess. Positions, please. Entrance, Lady Mulder. This door? Yes, that door. Right, conversation stops when Lady Baldwin enters. Oh, okay. Let me hear a buzz of conversation. Enter Lady Baldwin! Help her with the door, Onslow. I would hardly think that Lady Mulvey would have doors in that condition. Don't slam it next time when you close it. I was in character, dear, closing a door of English solid oak crafted from my forebears that came over with William the Conqueror. It's plywood. To others it may be plywood, but to Georgina, Lady Mulvey, it has the satisfying weight and gravity of her own pedigree. You killed that bloody woman. I'm sorry I didn't hear that. Oh, perhaps it was just as well. Yes, um, can we uh, carry on, please? I'd, I'd like to finish this scene before I leave. I have an appointment to go insane. Oh, and it's always a joke. Can we carry on, please? Positions, please. Conversation, let me hear a buzz of conversation. Cue Lady Mulvern! See, conversation stops. We'll take tea on the terrace. You, you told him what? That we'll take tea on the terrace. I mean, I wouldn't get that wrong. It's one of my favorite lines. We couldn't hear it. Couldn't hear it? Oh, is everyone going as deaf as the vicar? Richard, could you hear it? Yes, dear. See, Richard can hear it. Yeah, Richard's no mm -hmm. It wasn't the volume, Hyacinth. You were mangling your words. Mm. Mangling? Well, what I think Emmett means is there, there was some slight confusion because of your accent. Well, I don't see why. I mean, I considered very carefully how Lady Melvin would speak. Let me hear it again. With or without the centuries of good breeding. Try slightly fewer centuries. Conversation, chat, chat, chat. Cue Lady Mulder. Oh, Tom, my bride will take tea on the terrace. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, let's move on to the next scene. And this time, let's do it in English and not Bulgarian. Richard, dear, hop outside and see if Mrs. Dempton has arrived. If she has already arrived, take her first through to the arts exhibition and show her my willow by moonlight and then bring her back in here. Yes, dear. Oh, and Richard, please. Do take care when you go outside not to get mud on your shoes. These people mix in circles where there are no unclean shoes. Yes, dear. But I feel you are slightly overdressed for lying on the floor, and I can't guarantee it will be all that clean. Lying on the floor? Why would I be lying on the floor? Our writers could think of several reasons. Bog up again, Onzo. Collapsing on the floor is what the, uh, the dead usually do. 
dead. We, when you're murdered, we find you lying on the floor. Lady Malvern is murdered? Yes, have you read the script? Well, only up to where I've uh, rehearsed. Uh, look, I'm sorry, you'll have to give me a moment. This, this has come as quite a shock. Our hyacinth's murdered, eh? Ooh, why didn't I think of that? Don't lie, you often do. <laughs> oh, hyacinth, it, it's not as if you'll be out of the play. You've still got the cook's part. Mm. You won't be out of the play. Oh, thank you for reminding me she won't be out of the play. Stop it, Emmett. Can't you see she's quite upset? No, I'm not. Yes, well, you're quite happy working your ego to the bone. Thank you very much. Wait! I have an idea. I do the ideas. Why can't the cook be murdered? No, Hyacinth. The cook appears in the next act. We have to follow the script. Well, I'm beginning to think that it's a footling script. If we can think of nothing better to do with its well-bred people than to, to have them murdered. I mean, do well-bred people get murdered? Surely it's the other sort. I did warn you, Hyacinth that of the two characters you're playing, the cook is the better part. Very unfairly so, if she has to rely on her betters being murdered. I mean, why am I murdered? It was a mistake. In the dark, they thought you were someone else. Well, there you are, you see. Let someone else be murdered. <laughs> the script! It's all in the script! I expect you to read your scripts, I expect you to learn your scripts, and I expect you to be less surprised when Lady Mulvern is stabbed seven times. No, she wouldn't. What? Be stabbed seven times. There'd be blood all over the floor. There is. Well, not on her exquisite double axe minster carpet, surely. No, I think she'd be strangled or poisoned, maybe. That could be nice. Emma, dear. I have an idea. You might like this. Instead of me lying dead on the floor, which is not all that fascinating dramatically, um, why don't we let the audience see me in the act of dying? Watch! Door opens, I come staggering through. shot at the Oscars. Now, I would like to take this opportunity for us all to put on our costumes. Oh. I've got Mrs. Debden coming to interview me for an important charitable office. Onslow will finally be dressed in a suit. And Rose will have a, a skirt that's for once below the equator. And they want me in costumed, dressed as 
the cook.